Well, hello, Capricorn. This is your September 2023. Capricorn, the title of this video, it has to say only one thing, and that's somebody's willing to work it out. Somebody's willing to give it another chance. Somebody's definitely contemplating about when to reach out to you. It feels like it's very, very soon. I got the Hermit card for the first card for you. The Hermit card talks about spiritual illumination. It talks about solitude, introspection even. It also talks about something that is going to lighten things up for you. It's going to change the atmosphere, so to speak. It's going to change your way that you feel. Being the hermit can also feel as if you're being kept apart or kept away or kept in, being kept in a area that you're not choosing to be in alone. It's kind of like being a hermit, like a hermit crab. A hermit crab goes back into its shell. So it's almost like you want to go back in. It's like you want to hide, you want to get away from the world. Right now you're not wanting to deal with anything because you're so upset. You're distraught about a situation. Your emotions are very high. You're very sad. Maybe even some dealing with depression. There's something that else is going on with you Capricorns that this is talking about with the Temperance card. The Temperance card dealing with Earth and Water. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's talking about moderation. It's talking about having patience. It's talking about self-control. Some of you have gone crazy texting, constantly calling, texting this person, trying to make them respond to you. You're getting on their nerves. You're being annoying as hell. You're acting too needy. Something's got to slow down here. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. For some of you, it's like... You are wanting to try to maybe go in another direction, maybe talk to somebody else. It's like you're seeking attention from, from other people. You're almost wanting to see if that's going to make somebody jealous to make them come back to you. It's going to work opposite. It's going to work against you instead of for you. For some of you, you had plans about this relationship with the Seven of Pentacles. You had plans about this relationship to be long term. But at the same time. You, you wanted a commitment. You wanted them to commit to you. But you were asking for things to happen too fast. They weren't prepared for that. Which made you feel powerless in the situation. Because you couldn't control this person. You couldn't control the way they act. The way they feel. The way they respond. It feels like you put yourself in this own mental prison so to speak. This powerlessness that you're going through, this struggle, is because you can't change other people. You can't make them do what you want them to do. For some of you, either you're talking to too many people, things you're saying are getting back to that person. There's a struggle there. There's definitely an obstacle in the way. Most of this obstacle has to do with immaturity. I don't know if that's you or your partner. But right now, this self-destruction that you're doing, again, being here in the hermit mode, the self-destruction or self-sabotaging the situation isn't in your best interest. It's going to push this person further away. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's a big risk taker. Somebody who doesn't care what the consequences are. Somebody who takes quick action, but they don't think things through. They make really fast decisions, but they don't think things all the way through. And then they wonder why things get screwed up. For some of you, you're dwelling on the past of a situation. You're dwelling on the past. Perhaps this is about a situation that may have occurred between you and this person. Perhaps it's the fear that the past is going to become the present. Something might be get revisited and that's going to make you very uncomfortable. You're so worried that fate's going to repeat itself or history's going to repeat itself. 
For some of you, your friends might be trying to tell you that it's wishful thinking. That this isn't going to happen. That this person isn't coming back. Some of you are going to other readers and that's what they're telling you. It's your choice on who you get to read for you. It's your choice. I personally see that romance is definitely in the works for you. I definitely feel like there's a partnership or a connection coming for you. Now, whether this is somebody new for some of you or this is your person from the past coming back. For some of you, you do need to clean out some space. Whether it's mental space, you got too much going up in here, you're overthinking, you're, you're definitely dramatizing something. You're creating your own stories that aren't even true, and you're believing them. You're definitely believe you're you're delusional, in a sense, where you're like, "Yep, that's what they're doing. Yep, that's why they didn't call. Yep, that's why they didn't text. Yep, that's why they're not coming back." Some of you need to look in the mirror and get a reflection and see what's really going on. Find out what's really going on with you. What's really going on with you, okay? Forgiveness is going to be needed in a situation and trust is going to have to get rebuilt again. Somebody definitely violated your trust here. Somebody definitely manipulated the situation. I think you know what I'm talking about because there was a third party involved. We have the three of swords. That's heartbreak, betrayal, even grief. For some of you, may you may have just lost a loved one recently and you don't know how to respond to that. You don't know how to deal with it or react. There's definitely some challenges here for you. But if you're dealing with a third-party situation, which many people are, this heartbreak, this betrayal, this manipulation, this breadcrumbing, this gaslighting, this narcissistic behavior that you've been dealing with off and on has your mind all caught up in something. It's definitely caught up in anxiety, depression. Because right here, Nine of Swords. It talks about you worrying. You're spending so much time worrying about the problem that you can't see the solution right in front of you. All this worrying is doing nothing but putting a heavy burden on you. It's causing destructive behavior. It's causing you to think irrationally. It's causing you to pick up bad habits. For some of you, it's causing you to overeat. It's causing you to overdrink. It's, it's, things are not in moderation right now with you in many ways. For some of you, you don't believe in the traditional. You don't believe in the traditional, meaning you don't, you don't believe in traditions. You don't believe in conventional. For some of you, you don't want the old fashioned ways. For some of you, it's modern to the, it's modern to the fullest. Some of you are determined, determined to catch this person doing what they're doing, to catch them in a lie, to prove something to them. Some of you are very much determined to be able to want to speak your piece. It's like you want to argue back with them. Maybe some of you were on this phone call with this person and they hung up and now they blocked you. And you're doing everything you can. You were texting a thousand times. They didn't read any of your messages. They didn't listen to any of your voicemails. Somebody's trying to block you. Somebody's trying to make you leave them alone, give them a break. In the near future, again, this reading is for September. In the near future, possibly by the middle of September, maybe around the 14th, the 15th, wishes are coming true with the Nine of Cups. Something is going to happen. This person is going to talk to you. They are going to communicate because the Six of Cups is here. So they're definitely going to talk to you. As you can see, when we have the Six of Cups, again, you can see them here. Oh, try to hit that. You can see them here trying to confront you or talk to you, or they want to listen to you. They're going to listen to you. They're going to try to understand where you're coming from. They're going to try to figure out why you acted a certain way, why you responded the way you did, why maybe you were talking to their friend. Somebody got jealous here in a situation as well. So there's definitely going to be there's definitely going to be news coming, okay? There's definitely going to be news coming. Conversation, communication. I'm also seeing here 
for Capricorns. Something with work. For some of you, you do enjoy your work or you enjoy going to work or that's a place where your people are that support you and encourage you. For some of you, you are trying to uh, work through some type of a degree or a master degree. It might be a master's degree. It's some type of degree. It could be bachelor, associate, master's, whatever. You're trying to work very hard while working and going to school at the same time. Some of you, it shows being very studious. A very studious child. Very studious. You're definitely wanting to create. Some of you may be a creator here on YouTube. I don't know. Some of you definitely are trying to have faith and hope in a situation. You're trying to have faith and hope in a situation with a star card. It's like abundance is coming. Miracles are coming. Relief is coming. You got to have faith. Be ready for the opportunity when it presents itself. Again, the devil card comes up talking about excessive behavior, overindulging, addictions. It, it talks about bondage. It talks about codependency. It talks about allowing the devil to tempt you in a direction that you don't need to go back to. It talks about you coming up with words when you get these triggers or you get these worries or you get these fears or you get this temptation coming up with words to counter the temptation that comes in. As soon as it makes you think you want something to do something that go back to something, tell yourself, no, it's poison. You'll die. Say this over and over. Call on God. Call out his name. Ask him to help you. I feel like for a lot of you, the worst is over. You are in a recovery period and you're going to continue to recover. There is a compromise that's going to be needed with this partner or they're going to cut you out or you're going to cut them out. Somebody's taking a gamble. Somebody's taking a risk. Somebody's not being too smart in a situation. This may be the person that's involved in the third party. They're gambling. They're risking losing the relationship one way or the other, whoever this is for. You're going to have to look within in order to recover. You're going to have to make some really good decisions and choices so that you can have some good times that are coming. A lot of you are dealing with boredom right now and you're not trusting your intuition in the situation. There is going to be some type of renewal or rebirth coming up for you. There's also going to be somebody who wants to hear your truth. Somebody wants to hear your truth. Somebody's trying to be fair to you. Somebody's trying to like balance this out for you. Somebody's definitely trying to give you the opportunity with, that, with expressing your active energy. Ask, you're asking for truth and fairness. You're asking to be treated fairly. For some of you, it's defending yourself over and over and over again. Self-defense, seven of wands. It's like you're under attack. Stand up for yourself. When you know you're telling the truth, stand up for yourself and don't give in. A lot of you are looking for some stability. You're looking for structure. A lot of you are focused on material gain right now. Many of you are very independent and self-sufficient, Capricorn, but at the same time, your decisions will have consequences. Understand that. You got to believe in justice and doing what's right. You're going to juggle some resources or you're going to have a struggle trying to make a choice and you're going to be juggling these choices not knowing what to do. You may need to get some counseling or some advice from somebody that you know and trust. For some of you at work, there's a competition going on. Either you're all applying for the same position, this promotion, or whatever is happening there. Or for some of you, this competition can be in your relationship. Feeling like somebody's ex-partner is trying to get them back or take over um, or sabotage things. Some of you, you got to let go of these fears that you're holding on to because they're not helping. They're causing you a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, and they're putting you in a setback. Maybe you've dealt with betrayal and deceit from your partner in the most recent past. Maybe that's what the breakup was about. But you're going to have mental clarity and you're going to get an explanation to something that's happening here. Sorry about my dog snoring in the background. Here. 
A lot of you, you're very optimistic for success in the near future. You're working well with others. You're doing good as a team player. But at the same time, you're wanting to come up with an idea that's going to show a lot of independence on your part. For some of you, you're dealing with family, but there's not a lot of contentment going on right there. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of addictions or there's a lot of miscommunications as well. For a lot of you, you are going to recover from this relationship, this situationship, whatever's going on here. For some of you, um, you're going to recover from hard times like the Six of Swords. You have achievements that you're going to make because the world card shows up, which means you're going to complete something. You're going to finally start to feel whole again. Last but not least, the Lover's card comes up. You're going to have choices and decisions to make in order to get the balance that you're wanting in this relationship. But it's going to have to start with recovery where trust is concerned. Somebody has definitely violated your trust. And now you're wondering how to get that back and how to trust this person and move forward. So this is what I'm seeing for the month of September for Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon.